So what is it that makes this aircraft fly? Surely this 84,000 pound aircraft doesn't reach 35 plus thousand feet because of its engines alone. This video is designed to teach you the fundamentals of aerodynamics and prepare you for your check ride or your next activity with your instructor. So let's get started. Let's start with the four fundamentals of flight, weight, lift, thrust, and drag. If we break this up into two categories, it looks something like this. Lift and thrust are for flight, and weight and drag are against flight. It's Newton's third law at its finest. Let's explain that a bit further. If we have lift working to pull the aircraft into the air, the aircraft's weight is certainly working to pull it back down towards the ground. On the other hand, we have thrust, which is pulling us forward, giving us the power to climb and cruise. Yet we have drag, which is produced from the entire aircraft, even the wings that are giving us lift. Now let's take a step back to lift. We know that the wing is what makes the aircraft able to fly, but how? From now on, let's call the wing an airfoil. Looking at this airfoil, you see that there is air, or relative wind, being forced both above and below the airfoil. Because of the shape of the airfoil, the relative wind is being forced to move faster across the top than it is the bottom. This causes high pressure below, causing lift, and low pressure above. This is also known as Bernoulli's principle. In addition to lift helping the aircraft fly, we also have thrust, which is pulling the aircraft through the air, and in turn, allowing relative wind to flow over the airfoil. Now for the forces trying to prevent flight. Weight, or more commonly referred to as gross weight, which includes the aircraft, pilot, passengers, baggage, and fuel, are all working against lift. With weight pulling the aircraft down, it is important to know that lift generated by the airfoil must be equal to or exceed the gross weight of the aircraft. With that being said, now we have to take a closer look at drag. Drag, in a generic sense, is a term for friction, caused by the interaction of a fluid or solid on a fluid or gas. In this case, it is the aircraft, a solid, flying through the air, a fluid. Earlier we mentioned that in order for an aircraft to fly, lift must be equal to or exceed gross weight. The same principles apply with thrust and drag. Thrust must be equal to or exceed drag in order to either achieve or maintain lift. Now let's talk a little bit about how the aircraft stalls. A stall is nothing more than another term for the airfoil no longer being able to produce lift. As we mentioned before, in normal flight, the relative wind flows smoothly both above and below the airfoil. However, when the airfoil's angle of attack reaches a certain point, also known as the critical angle of attack, the relative wind is no longer able to conform to the surface of the airfoil. Once this happens, the aircraft is said to have stalled. 